Production of recombinant therapeutic proteins. We have already discussed that uh, such type of products they can be produced by using bacteria, animals, or plants. And among the first examples that were produced by using transgenic living organism, here we can quote the example of some growth hormones are the insulin that uh, uh, we have got different type of human hormones by using uh, such a type of living organisms. With reference to growth hormones, first we have used the pituitary gland as a source to get the human growth hormones. Or is mein jo pituitary gland jo hum use karte the hormones ki extraction ke liye wo human dead bodies thi ki jab kisi ki death ho jati thi ya jo usko dead bodies ko experimental uh, you can say the specimen ke taur par use karte the to uski pituitary gland se hum hormones extract karte the lekin isme bahut sare jo the wo concerns the ki it can leads to different type of diseases in the recipient humans. Ke some time kya hota tha ke bodies jo thi wo infected hoti thi. Uh, is the dif different tarah ke diseases jo thi wo develop kar jati thi. Ye like jo uh, prions the wo infection cause karte the aur nervous system ko damage kar sakte the. To is tarah ke issues the. Iske ilawa uh, bohut sare jo blood factors the unki bhi requirement thi to is tarah ke source ko use nahi kiya ja sakta tha for longer time because of such concerns then recombinant dna technology was used to produce such blood factors because uh, sometime the blood transfusion it may have uh, its own risks that uh, uh, risk like uh, the infection with different type of diseases like the hepatitis or HIV. So, such risks they can be eliminated if recombinant DNA technology may be used for the production of such growth hormones that can be used for human. And one of the vital system that was used, it was based on microbes like the E. coli. To start me iske apne concerns the ya problems thi ke foreign gene jo the wo express karte the lekin uh, unki koi excretion ka system nahi tha ki agar cytoplasm mein jo protein hai ye synthesize hua hai express hua hai to uski transportation jo tha usko manage karna itna easy nahi tha ya uh, aap ye keh lenge ki phir koi hame aisi tarike ikhtiyar karne padte the ki in vitro secretion karwaye aur phir in vitro hi जो पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन है लाइक ग्लाइकोसाइलेशन वो हम करवाते थे जो कि इतना कोई आप कह लें कि एक्सेप्टेबल वे नहीं था टाइम कंज्यूमिंग था सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस रीजन देन मेमिलियन कल्चर्ड सेल्स दे वर यूज्ड बिकॉज़ दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस द पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल modifications in the foreign expressed proteins but the technology was expensive when we compare it with the microbes because the culturing of the microbe it is relatively easy so because of this reason then microbes like bacteria they were improved so that they may be able to secrete the proteins in the periplasmic space the space that is present between the cytoplasmic membrane and the outer membrane where it can be uh, modified so that you now the functional product one can get. Then with the passage of time some other microbes like the yeast cell they were used because like bacteria it is also very easy to cultivate them by using a common type of culture media and variety of type of growth hormones or vaccines like hepatitis B uh, were uh, produced by using yeast or scheromyces. Then with the passage of time, some other filamentous fungi, they were also used to produce different type of 
proteins.